Hey guys, it's Nick here, and I have some good news and bad news. The good news is yesterday I picked up a couple games and showed you guys. Um, the the bad news is my flat screen monitor that I got a few weeks ago uh, stopped working. So, <laughs> anyways, the game I'm show you guys today is probably the weirdest game I've ever played. Actually, I take that back. It is the weirdest game I've ever played, and possibly the weirdest Nintendo game ever. Um, yeah, it was only released in Japan since I got a Famicom. Thought I'd expand my, you know, my Famicom collection. But this game is called. I hope I'm saying this right. 89 Deno Kayuse Yerunai, or according to Google Translate, you know, knowing how accurate they are, it means Cyber Horoscope Divination 1989. It sounds like an accurate title. Um, the game was developed by Micronix, who you probably know for developing the horrible Super Pitfall that the Angry Video Game Nerd reviewed, and it was published by Jingokan and Polaris. Now, and also, you get this cool white cartridge, and that's actually something I like about Famicom cartridges more than, um, more than the NES cartridges, because these, um, you know, they, they always came in all kinds of different colors. And by the way, in case you're wondering, yes, this was a licensed game by Nintendo. Um, anyways, let's check it out. Alright, so here's our title screen. Doesn't look too bad. For 1988, 1989, it's pretty good. So this is the first thing we see. Some cat thing in a spaceship? I don't know. And of course, I don't read Japanese. I mean, I, I know some stuff that the game's trying to say, but that's about it. So I'll try to help you guys as best as I can, like that. Um, it says, you know, you know, uh, year, month, and day. Um, so, anyways, I'll enter my actual birthday. I don't really care if anybody knows. Um, June 8th, 1994. And contrary to what some people may believe, I am a man, so. Anyways, I don't know what that says. Uh, and I don't know what any of the stuff says. So per I, I'm assuming what this these options are supposed to do is like predict what point of your future as far as like different subjects. Like uh, like are like I, I'm assuming like it might one of these questions might say like am I going to go to college? Am I going to am I going to graduate college or am I going to be a musician or something like? I don't know. Again, I don't know it. I don't know Japanese, so for all I know, I might say, you know, you're going to get anally raped by Shaquille O'Neal and he'll make you play Shaq Fu for the rest of your life. I don't really know. So, um, I, I don't know what this is, but. And then you're always accompanied by this weird robot thing. And I have to say, can't, can't they. Couldn't they add, like, a little more color to these guys? I mean, I counted the colors on the robot, there's only five. Um, same with that cat in the spaceship, I think. Um, so here's the last one. It, I, I, again, I know it tells you enter in a date, 1989. I'm assuming it's to, like it's gonna tell you like what's gonna happen on that day. Uh, how about uh, May 21st? Um, let's try that. I don't know, but I'm assuming it's saying Harold Camping's prediction will be correct for the millionth time. Like, apparently, like, he made some kind of prediction back in 1989, too. I don't know. No, I'm just joking. Anyways, here's the final thing. So you add another person's, um... Another person's, uh... Yeah. You add another person's date and see if you're compatible. How about, um... Okay, so here's what happens if you do two guys. By the way, no, I'm not gay, so... <laughs> the fuck is this? Uh, I I don't know. It it looks wrong because it is. I don't know. Oh, uh, that that robot's like, what the fuck? It's like I guess that's the robot's reaction to two girls, one cup. I don't know. Let's try it with um. Oh, well, anyways, let's try um another date here. Um, I'm gonna go with October 27th, and I'll do a woman, and then. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard that song before. <laughs> Actually, the music in this game, I forgot to mention, was composed by Sugu Toshigoto, who, on the NES, also composed Ultimate Exodus. So, um, anyways, so now I get some 
So it's, I know that says up in the top left, perfect. Um, so apparently me and this unknown woman are of a perfect match. But if I meet someone whose birthday is 1992, October 27th, they're a perfect match. That's just wrong. I'm sorry. All right, well, let's see what happens when I use two girls, though. All right. So I'm gonna use the same birth date, you know. Now I'll use the other one. All right, now. Oh my god, and to think these guys made Super Pitfall, man. It's it's literally, like, unthinkable. <laughs> but I don't know. To be honest, I really can't give a rating for this game, because there's nothing really to rate. I mean, like I said, the graphics are okay, the music's good, except I don't know why well, they just use a square wipe and they make some actual instrument. Well, I don't know if it's true, but according to GDRI, um, I think it's like Game Developers Research something, um, uh, apparently, the game or the company was founded by some Japanese college student who never really cared to test for bugs. So here's the two girls doing it. I have to admit, that's a little hot, don't you think? Oh, uh, yeah. No, no. Uh, so, anyways, that's the game. Sorry if it's a little on the short side. Just really nothing to talk about. And I can't read Japanese, or else I'm sure I'd have a lot more to say. But I just thought, you know, since I just got a Famicom without it expand my collection. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys are having a good one, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.